Hey, Pastor Steve Waldron here. You know, I think I actually did a review of this a couple years ago, and it was one of the very few times something got messed up on a computer and we lost a few videos. But I can't vouch for that 100%. So here we are back, because I just had a request as well. I've kind of just been feeling. I learned a lot from this particular book. Now, I do know that uh, a lot of people that watch this hate Gail Ripplinger. You don't dislike Gail Ripplinger. You hate Gail Ripplinger. And I wonder how many of you actually ever read her books. Now, I will tell you, um, she's the classic case of you better pray before you read the book, eat the food, spit out the sticks. I don't like a lot of her alliterations. I don't like a lot of her ba da 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 jumping around. But as far as pure information, she's got it. She has got enormous amounts of of information in these particular books and people can say yeah she's got a degree in home ec blah blah yeah she's written several college textbooks um doesn't she have something from harvard university so i mean this is not some idiot here like this particular book is 1203 pages and I just noticed, like, John Hitton, Ph.D. recipient from Harvard University, uh, provided the impetus for the research on Byron and kindly made himself available. Greek professors such as Ron Forte, Dean Hayes, C. Scott Line with an extraordinary library, acknowledgments, like... Uh, um, that and I haven't checked him out in a while, but that John Hinton's got amazing stuff about the King James, and he's got a, again a PhD from uh, Harvard. Let's just look at the front. So I read through. I think I've read this by uh, this uh, book twice. The men behind the, the smokescreen burning Bibles word by word, Greek and Hebrew study dangers. See, and this is something I'd have never even thought of so much i mean i guess we all ask well, who is strong is the strong scorn who is vine you know of all these well she goes through and says i think i've actually got a box of these somewhere i don't know that i could find them that i got for like half price and was going to pass them i probably passed out some okay so hazardous materials lexicons death certificates signed by the doctors professional insider secrets the seven deadly sins how greek and hebrew dictionaries are made plagiarizing the past and paying penance today for the liddell scott greek english lexicon the battle the spirit versus desires of the flesh and mind secularizing word mortal sins living verbs wounded in grammars metzger's lexicalades and greek texts are deadly nuggets from the greek or fool's gold Strong Delusion, James Strong's Dangerous Definitions in the Back of His Strong's Concordance, Logos Bible Software's Liddell Greek uh, English Lexicon, Did Henry Liddell Protect Jack the Ripper st Suspect, Alice in Wonderland's Lewis Carroll, a.k.a. Charles Dodgson, Liddell G Scott, which that was all a fascinating thing, Dean Henry Liddell and His Best Friend, Charles Dotson, alias Lewis Carroll, who the implication is he was like a uh, pederast or something. Thayer was a Unitarian. See, a lot of people don't know that, didn't. R.C. Trench exposes this author who uses Blavatsky's serpent logo. Moulton and Milligan, co-authored by an editor who thinks Zoroastrianism was a forerunner for Christianity. Vine's expository. Now, Vine was actually seems like a good guy. But then it says, Vine denies the blood that the blood saves. I don't know what all that is. Um, copycat Kenneth Wiest admits his definitions were taken directly from the unsavory men who are exposed in this book. Martin Vincent, Mard, and Sinbent uh, denies the existence of the devil. A.T. Robertson's word pictures uses corrupt Greek text. Walter Bowers, uh, Lexicon, uh, you know, because he was basically, the, she brings out he was a Nazi or something. Describe his work. Bauer thought Christians were heretics. Danker. Of the, when you have a, a B-dag, the D is for Danker. Uh, which I really like. A Greek-English lexicon of New Testament and other early Christian literature was used by NKG and NIV editors. He was a translator for the Catholic New American Bible. was expelled from his professorship for heresy. Greek New Testament text. 
the textual heresies of Frederick Henry Ambrose Scrivener. He was a Bible critic and revised version committee member working under Westcott and Hort. He wanted to admit many crucial parts of the New Testament. The Trinitarian Bible Society's Little Leaven, Scrivener's Greek Textus Receptus, uh, very wary of George Ricker Berry. <laughs> See, stuff like that. I mean, that's what people can't stand. Um, demonstrates your problems with the Greek English interlinear, which wrongly admits words, the whole verse is coming by a faulty English interlinear. The wobble, unorthodox, Greek Orthodox crutch, uh, wrongly presented as the majority text by Zodiates, Hodges, Farstad, Pierport, Robinson, and others. Um, Zodiates, Byzantine Empire Strikes Back, discloses his corrupt lexicon, which plagiarized the NOE editors. Child molester on New Version Committee. This and the following chapter reveal for the first time the B.F. Westcott editor of the Greek text. Blah, blah, opened the door for his old homosexual and pedophile compatriot C.J. Vaughn to work closely with him on the RV Committee. Uh, Moral Hazard, the pederast on Wed Scott and Hort's English Revised Version Committee by Dennis Palmew of the North American Conference on British Studies looks at the perpetrator, his penalty, the cover-up, and his preferment on the RV Committee. So like I'm saying, you might disagree with a lot, but her, her information is amazing. Hebrew Old Testament lexicons, Jacinius Old Testament Hebrew lexicon by a German Bible critic is the source of virtually all Hebrew Bible interpretation seen in all new versions and lexicons. Therefore, all Hebrew studies cankered with error. I think Maury would make the same statement. Rob Maury, because anyhow. Brown Driver Briggs Hebrew English lexicon was taken by Jacin from Jacinius. Briggs secret meeting with the Catholic hierarchy in Rome recently revealed by Harvard University Journal and his trial for heresy are brought to light. Hebrew summary, Hebrew Old Testament text, Hebrew Old Testament critical text, the anti-Semitic critic Rudolf Kittel of the little Kittel fame, Hebrew Masoretic Old Testament non-authoritative text, shockingly reveals that C. Kinsberg, editor of the only currently available printed edition of the Good Bomberg, so-called Ben Kayyem Rabbinic Bible and published by the Trinitarian Bible Society was a follower of the wicked Kabbalah and Luciferian Madame Helena Petrovina Blavatsky. The occult and Catholic origin of Greek and Old Hebrew focus, focus exposes Ruchlin, the founder of Greek and Hebrew study, and his use of the wicked Kabbalah. This could have been chapter one. The scriptures to all nations, seven proofs of the King James Bible's inspiration. See, what can you say? I'll just show you like what's in here. But it's... Okay, so you hate her guts. Read through it and disprove it. Like, I remember back in the day, like Corner, Cornerstone Magazine would try to disprove Gail Ripplinger. And then uh, White, James White wrote the King James Version only controversy. And so like I read it and I'm like, all I got for 72 pages, the first 72 pages of KJV only controversy was Gail Ripplinger's an idiot and Pete Rockman's an idiot. And that if Hills was alive today, he probably believed like I do. And uh, there was, but so then I read this stuff and it's just packed with verified, documented information. And it's like, wow. So anyhow, hazardous materials, Greek and Hebrew study dangers, the voice of strangers, burning Bibles word by word, the men behind the smoke screen. Again, you may be new version all the way, and that's good. But you at least know who's behind, who was Moulton, who was Milligan, who was Liddell, who was Scott. Questions that sometimes don't get asked. They get overlooked in colleges and seminaries because they're just saying, use this, use that. You, buy the, you bought the Logos Gold program and you're just like this is what it is so great book what can i say god bless talk with you later in jesus name